Mastering Camera Movement, an ICM Technique Tutorial. Hi everyone! Today we will discuss Intentional Camera Movement, or ICM for short. This is a unique and creative photography technique that will take your images to the next level. So what makes Impressionist photography so unique? Well, it's all about letting the light and lens do their magic. You see, Impressionist photography isn't about capturing every little detail in a scene. It's about capturing the mood and feeling and the atmosphere. It's like painting a picture with light. When you take an Impressionist photograph, you are essentially using a technique that allows the light to play and dance in the camera lens, creating a unique and beautiful effect. This technique could be a camera movement, selective focus, or any other method that allows the light to be captured in a way that creates an impression. The goal of Impressionist photography is to let the light speak for itself, to let it tell a story in its own way. When it comes to capturing the essence of a moment, nothing compares to the thrill and satisfaction of using camera movement. It's truly an art form that allows you to harness the power of the lens and light to create truly unique and stunning images. The beauty of camera movement lies in its unpredictability. Whether you're working with trees, water, or any other subject, the way the camera moves during exposure strips away all the details, creating an abstract and impressionistic result. People may think that creating impressionist photographs is just luck, but that's not true. Learning how to move your camera correctly takes a lot of time and practice, but the results are amazing. The key is to choose your subject carefully and experiment with different shutter speeds until you find the perfect one for the desired effect. And don't be afraid to make mistakes, they are just part of the learning process. As you practice, moving your camera will become easy. When it comes to camera movement techniques, they are just a few things you will need to get started. First and foremost, you will need a camera with manual exposure control. This will allow you to control the settings fully and make the most of camera's capabilities. Along with camera, you also need any lens, and perhaps even ND filter, to block out any excess light, if necessary. These filters are great to have on hand when you are working in bright conditions and want to maintain a slow shutter speed. Now, with all your gear ready to go, it's time to set up your camera. To start, you will want to switch to shutter speed priority mode. A good starting point for a shutter speed is one ten of a second, but you can always adjust it later. With your camera set up, you are ready to experiment with camera movement techniques. You may use vertical, horizontal and diagonal movements, panning, rotating, zooming, walking with your camera and even haphazard movements. But don't feel limited by these options. The key is to understand your subject and try it out different directions until you find what creates the desired effect. In photography, knowing how to use your camera well, it's important to make great art. 
When you know how to control your camera, you can take the pictures you want instead of letting the camera make them for you. But just knowing how to use the camera, it's not enough. It will be best if you also had a good imagination to create something truly amazing. Having good skills helps to be more creative in your work. It gives you the confidence to experiment with different techniques and the ability to bring your artistic vision to life. When a good technique is combined with creativity, the results can be truly breathtaking. The goal of any photographer is to use technique creatively to achieve the desired effect, while still expressing their artistic vision. However, it's also important to strike a balance between technique and creativity. Focusing too much on technicalities can lead to missing great potential shots. So there you have it, a quick overview of intentional camera movement. Start practicing your camera movement techniques today, if you are ready to take your impressionist photography to the next level. Remember, the more you practice, the better you become. Have fun, be creative and don't be afraid to make mistakes. They are an important part of the learning process. And as always, keep your eye open for potential shots. Always have your camera on hand. You never know when the perfect moment for an impressionist shot will present itself. Until next time, happy shooting!